In this video, we learn how to determine the value of the output signal for a simple circuit. Given the input signals P equals 1 and Q equals 0, determine the value of the output signal R. We begin by labeling the wires that exit from P and Q with their respective values 1 and 0. Next, we trace each wire until we reach a gate. So beginning with P, we trace the wire to the OR gate, and note that P inputs 1 into this gate. Then we trace the Q wire to the same OR gate, and note that Q inputs 0 into this gate. So for the OR gate, we have 1 or 0 equals 1. But wait, the P and Q wires are both split. This is allowed because the rules of combinational circuits states a single input wire may be split and used as input for two or more separate gates. So the split from P's input wire takes us to the first AND gate, and P inputs 1 into this gate as well. Likewise, Q inputs 0 into the first AND gate. So for the first AND gate, we have 1 and 0 equals 0. The output wire for the first OR gate is the input wire for the second AND gate. So the OR gate's output, 1, is the input for the second AND gate. This is allowed because the rules of combinational circuits states an output wire may be used as an input wire. Similarly, the output wire for the first AND gate delivers 0 to the only NOT gate and then the NOT gate outputs 1. Furthermore, the NOT gate's output wire is the input wire for the second AND gate, so the NOT gate delivers 1 to the second AND gate. Then, for the second AND gate, we have 1 and 1 equals 1. This is the last gate, so the output signal R equals 1. Now that we have found the output signal, we should note that this is not the most efficient way to determine the value of an output signal. Suppose the values of the input variables change. For example, if P equals 1 and Q equals 1, we would need to trace through the circuit again to determine the value of the output signal R. It is more efficient to determine the Boolean expression for the circuit and use it to find the value of the output signal. We'll learn how to do this in the next video.